We'll start with a new document, uh, file new. So unfortunately, you don't have your start document since we changed, uh, we swapped uh, rooms. So in the new document uh, box here, you don't have the document you've made earlier. So let's start with a new document for print and a change here in advanced uh, options, RGB color mode. Let's make it A4 landscape. Okay, press the F key on the Mac, it's the same on the PC, but uh, on the Windows PC, when you have pressed the F key, you don't see any difference, but it's useful when you're in full screen mode on your document, you may press the spacebar key on the keyboard, and then you have the little hand that grabs the document and move it anywhere you want. If you're not in, okay, it works too, in Illustrator, I don't say one more word. Okay, so F key, I'm in full screen, it's okay. And then we'll start talking here about the appearance panel, which is one of the most important panel in Illustrator. Okay, let's check if the document may contain bright colors. You go in File menu, Document Color Mode, and it is RGB color, so it is really uh, useful to put bright colors in that document. And if you, may, if you make a, an illustration in RGB colors, bright colors, uh, when you want to send it to the print man, you put the illustrator document into InDesign, and then you go in File Export into PDF, <coughs> And in PDF panel op options panel, you choose convert to CMYK. That's how it works. Converting an uh, RGB Illustrator document into uh, CMYK, it's best to put it in to InDesign and export in PDF. And uh, in the PDF option panel, convert to CMYK. What CMYK? The print man will tell you. It depends what kind of paper you're pr printing on. There's a lot of different CMYK. So, okay, that's an, another story. So now let's start uh, with the drawing of one circle. Ellipse tool with the shift key, you may draw one circle about that size. Okay, when you select the, the object, the circle, you see a square. That's the, the handles for um, making the object smaller or larger. But I don't need those handles, so I, I go to View and I ask uh, Hide Bonding Box. View Hide Bonding Box. So in French, it is Menu Affichage, Masquer le cadre de sélection. View hide bonding box. And uh, you may have uh, the bonding box when you are working with the free transform tool, but only when you are working on with the free transform tool. Now, when I'm moving the object with the black arrow tool, I don't see any more of this box. So I think it is better to hide the bonding box. View hide bonding box. Okay, let's save the document. Uh, and I will name it uh, Appearance. And I put the number at the end, 01. Okay, one question here. When you save the document here, when you save the document, do you see the extension, the file ex extension, AI? Do you see it? No problem? Okay. Okay, so you click OK in the option uh, panel uh, when uh, saving the document. 